Hello everyone. Today we will be discussing receivers, positive and negative signal wiring in servo switching. First, let's talk about the positive and negative signal wiring of a receiver. The F06 receiver used here is for display. PWM can be seen after the receiver name. This represents the output signal. The following icons are signal, positive pole, and negative pole. Be sure to check carefully when wiring. Now let's test the difference between correct and incorrect insertion methods. Here, we use an electrical adjustment to conduct a simple test. Show a correct insertion method first. Iron plate facing upwards. Connect your receiver. The green light is flashing now. Press the code matching button once. Flashing green light. Then turn on the remote control. At this point, you can see that the receiver's green light is constantly on. It indicates that the connection is normal. Next, let's test what happens when inserting it in reverse. I inserted the power cord in reverse. You can see a blue and green lights flashing alternately. I'll press the code matching button again. No other response from the receiver. At this point, I turn on the remote control. You can see that the receiver is still flashing. Unable to complete code matching. So when connecting, be careful not to plug it in the wrong way. Next is the gyroscope mode. F-series at receiver, also known as gyroscope receiver. How to set the servo mode? The prompt for the at receiver to turn on a gyroscope is blue light. Now let's show you. Still the same. I'll complete the code check first. Green light always on indicates successful code matching. Push channel E. The current servo angle is 90 度. This indicates that it simulates a servo motor. At this point, hold down the code matching button and don't let go. Keep it for about 2 seconds or more. You can see that the blue light is on and off, when only the green light remains constantly on. Let's release the pairing button and test if a setup is complete. We can move a joystick hand. See that the current steering angle is 180 度. This indicates that the switching of a servo has been completed. When setting up, it is important to note that the servo can only be switched once when long pressed. If you need to switch from digital servo or analog servo to another servo mode, need to reset it again. For example, if I am currently in digital servo mode, I need to switch to analog servo mode. I need to hold down the code matching button for another 2 seconds. When only the green light is left, you can see that the servo has been switched over.